Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, don't have any custom work or anything today. I want to do something a little bit different. Um, I like to do things different every now and then. I got something cool, something awesome in the mail today and I just wanted to show it to everybody because I haven't really seen uh, more than one or two videos about what I got. And I've never been a big fan of Spyderco. I don't really know what it is that's kept me away from them. I don't, I, I have no good explanation. Once upon a time, a while ago, I mean years and years ago, I had a Spyderco rescue. And I don't know what it was about that knife that I didn't like. Maybe it was the plastic handle, maybe it was the, the lockback locking system, I'm, I'm not sure, but something about it just kind of turned me off to Spyderco in general. Um, and I guess I was kind of unfair to judge the entire product line based on that one knife, but I just I just wasn't a fan of it. And I stopped carrying it, and to this day I have no idea what even happened to it. Um, you know, over time I've just become a fan of certain brands. Um, I'm a big fan of, of course, Benchmade. I absolutely love Benchmade products. I love everything, almost everything they make. Um, I have three Striders, I only have one of them here, but I love the way Striders are put together. I love everything about them. Um, you know, in the not as expensive category, I, I love CRKTs, uh, I love Kershaw's. So th there are knives I really, really like. And Spyderco, ever since that one bad experience with that one knife, I just stayed away from it. But uh, when I was out here on deployment, I saw one that just kind of caught my eye for some reason. I'm not sure what it was. And I went ahead and got one just on a whim because they had it there in the store. This little black Delica 4. And ever since then, I've been carrying it around, and I feel like an idiot for staying away from Spyderco knives for so long because I, I really love this knife. Um, this has become one of my favorite EDC knives. I carry it on me all the time, even when I'm not in my field uniform, in, in ABUs or multicam or anything, even when I'm just in PT uniform. This is small enough and light enough that I can just clip this to the waistband of my shorts, and I always have a knife with me. So I absolutely love this. I want to stop now to apologize. For some reason, I think this is kind of gross. I was working on a knife tonight at work, and she bit me. So that's what this is about. Sorry if it's grossing anybody out. So ever since I got this one Delica, I have been uh, just more and more thinking about the Spider Co's and looking at them online, and I decided I was going to try a few more of them out because uh, based on the way the performance this gave me, basically the combination of lightweight, compact size, and just really solid construction and a great blade to use, I decided I was going to check out some more. So while two of my favorite knives to carry around at all times are still my Benchmade Contigo and, of course, my Strider SNG. Uh, in terms of weight and size, I, I like a chunkier, kind of heavier knife, but there is definitely something to be said for the lightweight and small size of something like this. So let's take these two off the table. Just show you the ones I've collected while I'm out here, and I absolutely intend to get, get more uh, now that I'm into the Spyderco. And I've learned about the Spyderco Sprint Runs, which I guess is their version of limited edition. So anyway, some Spydercos we all know are so, so expensive. Uh, some we know are not. One of the first ones I got after the Delica was the Resilience, and I love the Resilience because it's ridiculously big. Um, it's just, I, I love non-serrated blades, and the Resilience, again, lightweight, great feel, big blade. It's not the best steel in the world, but still, uh, you know, it's no slouch knife. And, you know, I'd like to do a custom handle on one once and just see how it turns out. So I'm gonna put Mr. Resilience up here at the top. I'm gonna put Delica right below it. Now I know the Delica is the smaller kind of brother to the Endura line and I've never had an Endura and I've seen them. And again, they just looked a little bit weird, but I figured, well, what the hell, I'll try one out. So I ordered the Endura 4 with the foliage green FRN handle. You know, foliage green I thought would go with our uniforms pretty well and everything. And I haven't carried this a whole lot, but I've, I've just used the blade for a couple different things. And again, huge fan. This knife is great. A little bit heavier than the Delica, but still uh, lightweight, compact size in terms of width. And uh, you know, when you fold it up, it's a little bit long, but, but still, you can, you can carry this almost anywhere. And I am a huge, huge fan of the hole instead of a thumb stud for opening. So there's that one. If you like the Resilience, you'll probably like the Tenacious. So I got a Tenacious, and this one I use a lot. And I carry this one about as often as there. I usually carry about four knives in, with me in uniform all the time. So this one gets a lot of use, actually. And I use this one just general purpose utility stuff, cutting food, things like that. Now, as I was looking at the Tenacious, I noticed that there were some sprint run models. Um, they were built to sprint run. I don't know. I, I haven't seen anything that says they're limited, but two of the ones I got because I really liked was the non-serrated blade in OD green and also the non-serrated blade in blue, both of these in G10. Uh, I thought these just looked really nice and collection-wise, I thought they would complement the other ones pretty well. So I'm very happy with these. I don't really use these two that much. I just really like having them because I think that the colors look really nice in G10 and it's a good contrast to the, to the regular models. So I guess I'm going to have to make some more room here. 
So wanting to step up the Spyderco game a little bit and try one of the more expensive models, uh, I was looking at them. I was trying to make some decisions between a few, and there's there's others that I definitely plan to get. But let me also caveat by saying that getting knives shipped out here is sometimes a challenge. There's no way to tell which ones are going to be, sure, we'll ship them right over there, and which ones you're going to have to fight with customs and know they won't send them. So the original ones I wanted to get, I couldn't. I decided I was going to go with the Manix 2 because I thought it was really nice, and then I figured once again, here's one that's built as a, a sprint run, kind of special, different edition one, and uh, I decided to get this while I could because I was going to order it first, and it was completely out of stock two days later, and then I found it in another place. So I really love this knife, actually, and I, I'm ordering the regular old Man Manix 2 uh, with the G10 handles as soon as I get home, and they have the extra large size. I'm going to order one of those, too. The feel of it... Um, I love the blade. I'm not sure about that steel. I've never heard of it before, never used it. CTS BD1, but I, you know, from everything I've read, it looks really good. And the stonewash finish on this is beautiful. The lock system, I'm not such a big fan of. Uh, liner locks, uh, you know, I have no problem with all the time. The lock back, I don't like that much, but you know, I can deal with it. But this just seems to me, the one complaint they have is that this ball bearing lock seems to be a, a poor man's access lock. It, it, just like the Benchmade system. And if I didn't have a cut up hurt thumb, I, you know, this, you can absolutely do this one-handed. Um, I just, I don't know. I'm not sure where they were going with this, and I like the access lock better between the ball bearing system and the access lock system, if I had to make a choice, but. Now, another knife I really wanted to get from Spyderco that I was really excited about when I saw was the Native. It just had a good look to it. Uh, I read some reviews, I saw some online. Supposedly, it's supposed to be great. Uh, I found that the Native comes in FRN lightweight, one of the things I can't stand about this knife and some of the other FRN ones, by the way, is the fact that it's riveted instead of uh, screwed together. Just taking away the option that I have to take the thing apart or adjust the pivot or anything really bothers me. So that's, I forgot to say that, that's one of the things I really don't like about this knife is that it's riveted. So the lightweight native looked great. Uh, I wanted it. I was looking at that. I looked at the G10 handle. And then I discovered that Spyderco actually has a very, very limited run special edition native set specifically geared towards active duty military. <clears throat> in fact, from what I understand, these are not only very limited production, but you can only get them if you're active duty deployed. Or occasionally they sell them at a deployed um, BX or PX, but the way you get your hands on these really is by either contacting Spyderco directly or by entering a lottery and providing them copies of your orders to show that you're deployed. So I was lucky enough to not only did I purchase one, but I ended up getting one in one of the raffles, which is great. So this is the Spyderco Native Tan. <clears throat> What makes it different, of course, is the, the color of the handle, the FRN. And again, riveted, only complaint I have, riveted construction. But S30V steel blade, so that's, yeah, that's awesome right there. The feel of this knife is amazing. I absolutely love it. And then on these ones, this happens to be the Operation New Dawn edition with We Pray for Your Safe Return. Um, <clears throat> I also have, this is the one I got in the drawing, and then I bought, because I'm out here now, Operation Enduring Freedom. And there's also an Operation Iraqi Freedom one, but here's the deal. Spyderco will only sell one of these per person because they're so limited. So I picked Operation Enduring Freedom because that's where I'm at right now, and I just happened to get the Operation New Dawn, which I also served part in, so I'm happy having that as well. I'd like to have the Iraqi Freedom knife as well because I was there, but, you know, if I can only get these two, that's cool. Um, this knife is great. The balance on it is great. The feel of it is great. In fact, having this one makes me want to get the black FRN one even more because obviously I'm going to put these ones in a little case uh, on a shelf and keep them nice. Um, and I'd love to have a native to carry around. And I'd like to have the, uh, I'd like to get the G10 one and the FRN one, just carry them both and see how they're a little bit different. Cause the blades do seem a little bit different on each one of those. I love the drop point blade style with that big swedge right there. Uh, not a big fan of serrated. I've said that two or three times already in this video alone, but this blade looks really good. And as a military knife, you know, military tribute type of hardware, this looks really great. Interesting, just want to note the two different knives come with two different clips. Uh, this one has a very shiny silver clip and this one has kind of a bead blasted one. I don't know what's up with that, but that's just the way it comes. Packaging for these knives, nothing different than any other Spyderco knife, which kind of surprised me. Um, it just has the label that says native and then you've got all the little designators. Like I said originally, I just wanted to show these off a little bit because I have not seen uh, a whole lot of videos. I think I've seen one, as a matter of fact, where somebody even mentioned that these exist. And these are great little knives. They're really special to me, having served in both these operations. And I love the fact that Spider Co. has made something specifically for us to honor what we're doing out here and what we've done. And the way that they're distributing these is really cool. I just wish I could buy another one. I understand why they're limited to one per person, but 
it would be great to have the whole set. Also, by the way, just throwing in another good uh, shout out to Spyderco. When I got this in the mail, uh, the one I bought, they sent me a free phone card, 30 minute phone card, you know, thanks for your service so I can call my family back home and everything. So Spyderco, you guys are awesome. Thanks for supporting the troops. Thanks for being there for us. Thanks for making some great products. I am really sorry I shunned these knives so much for so long. And I can't wait to get home and use these knives in more of kind of an everyday situation, not just being out here deployed. So I hope you guys think that these two knives are as cool as I do. Spyderco Native 10 Sprint Run Limited Edition. Thanks for watching, guys, as always. Hope you like seeing these, and I'll be back with more videos soon.